the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education results are finally out and you are happy or sad depending on what you got. If you performed well, congratulations. But if you performed not so well, congratulations to you too. And this is why. Often, there is a lot of pressure to be the best in a student's school cycle, especially during final exams. The dream is to get admitted to good, if not best, secondary schools, colleges and universities. Emos Kaburu and education experts say that for those students who do not get maximum marks, they should never despair because that does not determine how their lives will turn out to be. What should happen is that we should... We should be able to appreciate that everybody has space yeah. in life. So our mechanisms of identifying what people can do is what is a little bit weak. Like our exams only focus on bringing out who are the brightest. But if we had got more diverse ways of assessing our children, then you should be able to identify that you could not be good in academics, but you're good at athletics. That desire to impress always leaves a child desperate for their guardians or parents' approval and gratitude. But when this thought and zeal is crushed by a poor report card, the effects can be tragic. Just days after the KCPE euphoria, a boy committed suicide because of his paltry 170 marks out of 500. It is reported that the boy had told his friends that he would commit suicide should he fail to score 350 marks and above. His body was found dangling on a tree in Oldonyo Sabuk in Machakos County. Most of these students are isolated and the society doesn't make it easier for them either because most don't look at the person's ability or talent, instead keep berating the child just because of grades or a report card. There is the reality of people who mature with the time, and we have seen many cases of people who didn't score very well in primary, but they went to secondary school and they picked up because of maturation and many other factors. Amos says that students have different modes and strengths in learning, and sometimes formal education doesn't work for many students, and this is in line with the government's push to implement the competency-based career that will accord all students an opportunity to excel in all spheres of life. Sasa kama mutu amebarikiwa kuwa carpenter ambaye ndiyo atakuwa mjenzi wa manyumba kubwa kubwa Kenya hii. Kwa nini we mzazi umlazimishe ati wewe utakuwa daktari. Na huyu mtoto ata akiona site ya damu ya, ya mbuzi anasirai. Lakini wewe unamuambia wewe utakuwa daktari. The importance of education cannot be denied in life, but some people are not able to complete the education or achieve the highest marks due to some reasons. Therefore, it is ideal to recognize the little efforts made by some of these candidates, nurture their strengths and hidden capabilities because they may just be the next leader or person who changes and shapes destiny in future. Don't ignore them. Victor Locke, 24, Evening Edition.